How's it going, adventurers? My name is Steve, alongside my robotic companion, Guida, and here we are once again, back in the baby hands dimension. It has been a little while, hasn't it? It's been a while since we've been back here, but, you know, I thought since the whole place is, you know, calmed down a bit, it's a bit more chill, uh, there's no demons, there's no baldies, there's no neighbors, there's no grannies, there's no one trying to murder us in this place, we may as well enjoy what this place has to offer, so mainly, I'm thinking about watching cartoons all day, maybe playing a couple of video games. I don't know, we'll see what we get up to. Guida, how are you doing today, friend? What do you want to get up to? Sleep? Sleep? Uh, adventurers do not rest. We don't rest, we don't wait around and sit for something to happen. We seek out adventure, okay? Ah, oh, this guy. I have never met such a lazy robot. Unbelievable, dude. Alright, um... Uh. I, I, I am calm, I just, uh, look, I really want to relax, I really want to have just some relaxation time, just some chill time, just for me, just so I can, you know, enjoy not being hunted down by, like, Bendy and the neighbour and Baldy for once, is, is that too much to ask, guys? Is that too much to ask? So there is no better way to relax than with some good old video games, so do we want to play, uh, Flower Onion, or do we want to play Sun Apple? Two highly popular franchises. It's gonna be a tough decision. I'm gonna go for Sun Apple. Let's go for Sun Apple. Let's pop it in there. And uh, is it has it started up? Yes, it started. Okay, where's my where's my controller? Here it is. Let's sit back, stand up, and oh, I've died already. Okay, I'm not very good at this game. We found out. Uh, come come on. Can I do the thing, please? I I think it's broken. I think it's broken. All right, just just stay calm. Stay calm, Steve. It's not like you paid. Quite a lot of money for that expensive collector's item video game. There's, just stay calm. Just, I'm calm. I, I would never get mad at a video game. Ugh! I don't even want to play the game anyway. Pfft, forget about it. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, I guess we'll play with our toys now. I guess there's nothing better to do. So, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, what toy shall I play? Ah, uh, what's going on, Guida? I, I can't move. Like, my feet are stuck to the ground. I can't... I can't move anymore. What's happening? Um, can you just do a quick scan of the of the area, please? Just to see what's going on here, because I can't seem to move from this very spot. Yeah, thanks, man. You know, stuff like this happens. Little instabilities with the dimensions, you know, they cause stuff like this to happen. I'll, I'll call them glitches, all right? Maybe this is just a big glitch, and we've, we've been stuck in place. Uh, hopefully that's the case. Right, yeah. Uh, do you have those results back yet? Wait, what? There's been a rise in demon energy in the area. Guida, demon energy? This could only mean one person. One person only. This is Bendy. Bendy has rooted us to the spot. Um... <gasps> Guida? Guida, there's a, there's a pentagram. Oh my god. This can only mean one thing. Bendy is back. This is what this means. Bendy has trapped me in some sort of ritual here. Let, let me out. Let me out. Why can't I... I can't get out of here. Right, Guida, what should I do? Guida. Guida, report. Has he, has he really gone to sleep? I can't believe it. That fool has actually gone to sleep. I'm trapped in a ritual. What am I... Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Guida? Guida, this isn't funny anymore. Wake up. Wake up, dude! Dude! Uh, oh my goodness. What? A new body? Oh my gosh. Wait. Have I swapped bodies with Steve? Oh, this is perfect. Now I will be able to wreak my destruction on this world. <sighs> oh my gosh. Guida? Oh no. Oh, I know exactly what's happened here. <sighs> Bendy has taken my body, he's possessed my body, and he's locked me in his dimension. I can't believe it. Alright, well, I guess I'm stuck here now. Can I get out? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, well, I better figure out somewhere to get back. Guida, are you? Are you still here? Where, where you at, boy? Oh no, he must have locked Guida there as well. Alright, so it's up to me by myself to, to sort this out. Great. <laughs> oh, hello, little robot. How are you? What? 
Oh, no, I, I've just got a sore throat, okay? I'm gonna get myself a glass of water in a second. Um, so, what you do? And no, no, I'm not acting weird. I'm, I'm Steve, it's me. Uh, hello, adventurers. How are you doing today? Other things Steve would say. You know, it's, it's me, good old, good old, good old partner Steve. Um, right, well, uh, I guess we should get on with doing whatever, <laughs> whatever we were doing. In fact, little robot, I, I tell you what, you head back to the checkpoint, okay? Get out of here, take your portal, teleport. All right, I, I just want to relax by myself. No, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll order pizza. I'll play some games. I'll watch some movies. I'll, I'll do something. You know, all, all the stuff that, that me, Steve, loves to do. Just, you, you go home, okay? Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> yes, I finally have control of Steve's body, and now I can finally destroy this dimension once and for all. Step number one: open the portal. To hell. Oh, I've been waiting all my life for this. Yeah. Oh, so this looks like some sort of old movie studio? Oh, I don't believe this. I, and look, there he is. Is this Bendy? Once and for all, have we actually witnessed him? He looks a lot more thin than I imagined and a lot more cardboardy. Um... I don't think this is him. I don't think this is the actual manifestation of Bendy. Um, oh my god, that camera is so bright. Uh, how can we get back out of here? The, the exit is locked, and we're just stuck in this gross, stinky place. It smells gross. It smells disgusting. I think I think there's a couple of dead bodies around here, if I'm being honest. Maybe this is the exit right here. That doesn't seem to want to open. I saw another door over here. Let's try this. Um, that won't open either. Okay, so we really are stuck here. Let's at least try to navigate this. The ink machine is over to the right, okay. So maybe if we go this way. Another locked door, interesting. And another picture of, of good old Bendy. He looks a lot more happy in these pictures. That's that's quite odd. All right, so apparently the ink machine is over this way. Um, well, I don't see it. Where's it at? Um, this is supposed to be the, the crazy awesome ink machine apparently. I don't see it anywhere I just see a bunch of rusty chains and uh, oh another another bendy picture um, Okay, what's in here? We've got a cog and what's this? It looks like oh hold on it might have to go in here Let's uh, try figure this out. So let's pop that in there. So it looks like this thing is powered by these these fuel cells It seems I'm not really sure what type of energy they use, but they seem to be powering it. So Okay I might have an idea here. So usually I imagine this switch would be used to power the ink machine and to get it to rise up out of the, out of that deep cavern there. But I'm thinking, what if we tinker with this? What if we manufacture this switch here to not only trigger the ink machine, but to use as a teleportation device? I know it's far-fetched, but with these fuel cells, which seem to be quite powerful, and this switch, we can very easily make some sort of teleportation device, okay? But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know about today's quest. Thank you so much to everyone that completed the previous quest in the previous adventure. You guys are all awesome. Make sure you leave a comment for this one as well, because it's going to be pretty cool. If you guys don't know, the quests on the Checkpoint channel are basically objectives that you can complete in the comment section to have the chance of winning a shout out in the next episode of Checkpoint. We run one every day. So you have every chance in the world to be given a shout out in the next adventure Your name could be in lights You could be propelled to internet fame if you answer today's quest So all I want to know today guys is If you could choose one channel For Steve and Guida to collaborate with In the whole of the YouTube multiverse Shall we say Who would it be? Let me know who your favourite channel is And who you'd want me to collaborate with the most And who knows? It may, it may happen in the future, if you're lucky. Alright, so now let's get to work on turning this into a teleportation device. It's not going to be an ink machine anymore. So we're definitely going to have to make some changes to that ink machine right now. And I think the best idea, right, is to take the next, or should I say the most substantial other piece of electricity and energy in this entire place, other than the ink machine switch, which is this camera right here. So if we take the camera and we take its energy, 
right? There we go. We've got the energy, and we put it, right? We put it right onto the ink machine. That should overload its power source and make a teleportation device. This place is obviously prime for teleportation since we were teleported to this dimension by Bendy himself. Sir, there must be somewhere for us to come back, and I think the key to that is overloading the power output of the ink machine. So let's go ahead and pop this over here. Uh, oh, Guida! Guida, you're here! All right, man, what's going on? What? T tell me, give me the updates of what's going on. What is going on back in the baby hands dimension? Is is everything okay? Are my, are my toys okay? He's not playing on my video games, is he? What's going on? Wait. Wait. H hold on. Hold on. Ugh. So, you're telling me that Bendy has opened a portal to hell in my toy den? Oh, well, that's just, that's just magnificent. That's just perfect. All right. Well, look, I'm glad you've come. You've come just in time because we are going to travel back there right now. And we're going to get my body back and we're going to vanquish this, this portal and that ink demon once and for all. So let me just put this energy source that I just picked up into the fuel cell here. There we go. All right. So that's all chugging away. And now once we pull this switch, I've, I've got a put a warning out there for my adventurers. If I pull this switch up here, anything could happen. We will be at the mercy of the gods. My limbs could be ripped off, my brain could be turned into spaghettiers. I could be pulverized by the amount of distance we are about to teleport, but we've got to do it. Because if he unleashes the, the forces of hell into the baby hands dimension, well, let's just say the world will be a little bit dead. So, without further ado, Let's pull the switch. Three, two, one. Here goes nothing. Oh, my head. What's happening? Ugh. 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 Guida? Guida, are you there? Dude, you will not believe the story I have for us. But first, look at this. He's opened a portal to hell. Okay, we need to destroy this right now. Oh, think, Steve, think. What is Bendy's one weakness? Let me see here. Wait. I've got it. Toilet water. We need to use toilet water to destroy this once and for all. Okay. Um, let me get my gun. Guido, thank you so much for sticking around and communicating with me. Keeping me up to date with what was going on here. If, if you didn't tell me, I, I, who would have known? The world might have ended. But all that matters now is we shut down this portal once and for all. So let's get to work. Okay, first of all, we've got to head up here and get to the... Toilet bowl. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fill that up. Fill that up. That's all getting filled up with toilet water right now. Ah. Oh, we all know how much Bendy hates toilet water. And now we're just going to leave a little sprinkle on the portal to show it once and for all. Who knows? If we actually didn't arrive in time, we might have summoned, I don't know, Alice, Evil Boris, the Projectionist, the Ink Seekers. Anyone could have been summoned. So it's a good thing we got back just in time. All right. Here goes nothing. Let's blast it. Go! Yes! Yes, Guido, look, it's closing! It's working! Yes! <gasps> we did it! We closed the portal to hell. Oh my gosh. Dude, I have been to Bendy's realm, okay? There was there was wooden planks everywhere. It smelled. There was ink everywhere. It was disgusting. I never want to go back there again. I had to turn an old camera into a teleportation device. It was... Oh, it, was, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of Baby Hands VR and you want to see more from this adventure, from this dimension, please let me know if you like and subscribe. Remember to complete the quest for today, as I said, while I was stuck in the bendy dimension. I think for now, that's a job well done. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Steve. That's been Guido. This has been the Baby Hands dimension and a little bit of the bendy... Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Octopus. And a little bit of the bendy dimension. Checkpoint. Complete. Bye, guys.